Ah, uh, right, so, um, schoolboy error number one, and uh, I'm desperately trying not to blame myself for this, I think it might be an easy mistake to make. So basically, yeah, I kind of couldn't work out how the uh, micro switch, the limit switch, fitted onto the, um, onto the old Y axis here. It's a concoction that Tom came up with and um, yeah, no matter how I sort of put it on, um, it, it just didn't seem to sort of sit right. Um, so I just assumed it was a different uh, micro switch than Tom designed his sort of slightly modified motor mount around. Um, so I sort of had a quick look through Tom's video again and sort of, yeah, he lines it up with it sort of upside down and it basically mounts something like this and uh, yeah so it kind of just hangs in mid-air there's just a couple of bolts that hold it on and yeah there's no real kind of yeah it, it would probably work to be fair um, so that's where I'm gonna do it so I did that and uh, then I noticed well it's not actually hitting <laughs> it doesn't work uh, basically the uh, the old uh, thing comes back uh, this isn't a particularly good example let's let's have a look at it on here uh, where are we yeah that will do so yeah this would screw on somewhere like this oh I really should have screwed this on and I could see that in Tom's um, video his is pretty much lined up like that. Now when I move my bed all the way that I can that way and even the adjustment on that all the way I can, um, you can see that uh, it's still quite some distance away from hitting the micro switch there. That's well, some distance, it's, it's only a few mil, but that's a few mil. And uh, I thought, well, maybe he bent the little arm out. Um, but looking at his video, no, he doesn't actually have a problem with it at all. It just hits. So now I was thinking, well, what um, what would actually cause that is either the bed isn't moving far enough towards the end, but, uh, well, as you can see here, the bearing is buttoned up right against the end of the, the, the corner bit here, there. Um, so yeah, I don't own it. Then I thought, well, maybe the, the, uh, the, the mount for that thing is like, you know, because it does say be really careful about how you mount that tray, this this bed mount thing here. Uh, it, to me, it looks completely symmetrical. I mean, apart from the bearing mounts, but it doesn't seem to matter which way up it goes, but they make a big deal out of it. So I thought, oh, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe the holes for the um, belt thing here are uh, sort of slightly offset. But no, I measured those, they're completely centered as well. So I thought, oh, something weird's going on here. So I looked and I looked and I looked, and uh, if you kind of know what you're talking about, <laughs> if you've done this before, you might notice that, um, let's give this one as an example, you might notice that um, there's something a little bit odd with my um, Y corners, these bits here. Now as I did it, and uh, actually that's all moved anyway but yeah that isn't important you'll find out why in a minute uh yeah they shouldn't really look like that and then i thought oh no tom's made some special bits and i went in i checked the, the stl files and no there were the st files he provided and i thought well maybe he's posted the wrong stl file uh, i compared it against the original and it looks more or less the same to be honest not a great deal of difference apart from yeah yeah, so I basically printed the right part. I thought, well, this is weird. So I looked again at his video and I noticed, but it doesn't look like that. It's weird. I then noticed in the STL file that actually <laughs> these corners are printed with a piece you need to remove. And uh, when you remove that piece, it looks a lot more like this one, which I have removed already. As you can see, it's got a big cutout in it, which if it was the right way around, uh, the bearings would slide up a lot further because the bearing would uh, basically 
yeah slide into that rounded area there so the bed could move up a bit further and it probably would hit the limit switch fine so actually the problem's not with the limit switch at all it was with me not noticing you need to sort of remove a piece that's sort of yeah i don't know it's in there but you need to scoop it out so unfortunately what that means is that uh, the way they were like that it was logical that uh, they went on that way around because you've got like the little indent here to stick the um, the smooth rod into and it butts up against there so they point that way but uh, now uh, knowing that actually that is the right way uh, they're on the wrong way around so I'm gonna have to take them off turn these corners around and put it all back together which should be really trivial except for well uh, everything's going to need to be realigned measured and blah. but anyway i'm going to have to get on and do that now and uh yeah uh hopefully it'll go back together fine <laughs>